Understanding, having blinders on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might come across in everyday English conversations, having blinders on. This expression has a rich background and an interesting metaphorical meaning. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you grasp its essence. The phrase, having blinders on, originates from the use of blinders, also known as blinkers, in horse equipment. Blinders are physical screens placed on either side of a horse's eyes to prevent them from seeing to the rear and sides. The main purpose of blinders is to keep the horse focused on what is in front of them, avoiding distractions and potential frights from peripheral visions. When we say someone has blinders on, we're using it metaphorically to describe a person who is focused only on their own perspective or task, ignoring the wider context or other viewpoints. This expression is often used to suggest that someone is being narrow-minded, not considering alternative ideas, or missing out on important aspects of a situation. Describing focus, it can be used to describe someone who is deeply focused on a goal or task, to the point of neglecting other important factors. Critiquing narrow-mindedness. Often, it's a critique of someone's unwillingness to see other points of view or consider additional information. Encouraging awareness. It might be used to encourage someone to open their minds and be more aware of the broader implications of their actions or beliefs. 1. In the workplace, the team had blinders on when planning the project, failing to consider potential risks. 2. Personal growth. You can't go through life with blinders on. It's important to be open to new experiences and ideas. 3. In debates, it feels like you have blinders on during our discussions, never taking the time to understand my point of view. Having blinders on is a powerful phrase that can describe a range of situations where focus turns into narrow-mindedness. By understanding and using this expression, you can enrich your English communication, adding depth to your descriptions of people's attitudes and approaches to various situations. We hope this explanation helps you see the importance of looking beyond our immediate focus and considering a broader perspective in life. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to exploring more fascinating aspects of the English language together.